What's up, Math Hate? Thanks for tuning in for another episode of Math with Mullins. Today, we're going to continue looking at Lesson 2.4, still solving equations with variables on both sides, but now we're going to have a little bit more of combining like terms, maybe some negatives thrown in there too. So before we move on, these are the same steps that you have from yesterday. So as long as you have 2.4 day one steps, you're good there. But if you need to and you don't have those steps written down yet, let's pause the video first, copy them down, and then we'll go on to example one. All right, writing and solve the following equation. The first thing I'm going to do is from my steps, it says to distribute. I don't have anything to distribute, but I do have step two, which is combining like terms. If you look here on the left-hand side, I have a negative 3x plus 4x. That's going to be a 1x minus 9 is equal to 6 minus 2x. Then I can decide what side I want the variables to be on. I'm going to decide to put the variables on this side, but again, it doesn't matter what side you put the variable on, just as long as you do it correctly. In order to do that, I'm going to subtract 1x from both sides. Actually, no, I lied. I'm going to put variables on the left-hand side because I told you yesterday to try to default for variables to be on the left. My bad. So, sorry about that. Variables on the left, that means I'm going to add 2x to both sides. And then 1x plus 2x is 3x. Minus 9 is equal to 6. Final step, add 9 to both sides, or one of the final steps. I get 3x is equal to 15. And then my final step, yes, would be to divide both sides by 3, so that x is equal to 5. Okay? Here's example 2. See if you can pause example 2, try it on your own, combine any like terms first, and when you're ready to check it, click play. So the left side, I don't have anything to combine, but the right side, I do. I have a negative 1. Notice how I'm going to box it in with a negative in front of it. A plus 2, again, boxing that around, and a minus 2. Plus 2 minus 2 actually cancels out to be 0, so all that's left now is that negative 1 plus 3a on the right side, and then a plus 1 on the left side. Again, I'm going to try to move all my variables to the left, so here we go. I'm going to subtract 3a from both sides. Remember this a by itself technically has a 1, so 1 minus 3a is negative 2a plus 1 is equal to negative 1. Then I'm going to do subtracting 1 from both sides. I get negative 2a is equal to negative 2. Final step, dividing both sides by negative 2. Negative 2 divided by negative 2 is a positive 1, so a is equal to 1. Question three, this is where we're going to distribute. If you need some extra help here, you don't necessarily need to pause the video, but if you know what to do here, pause it, see if you can try it on your own first, and when you're ready to check, click play. All right, so for number three, we're going to distribute first. So this left side, negative 37 minus P stays the same, negative six stays the same, but eight times four is what we're going to do here. That's, so this means eight times four. I'm distributing that, I get 32. And then I'm going to do 8 times negative 8p. That is negative 64p. Okay? Look for anything you can combine. Negative 6 plus 32 is a 26. So I have 26 minus 64p on the right side and negative 37 minus p on the left side. Then I'm going to start to move my variables. I want my variables to be over here on the left, so let's do it. I'm going to add 64p to the negative p, 64. Again, if it helps, put a one in front of there, so it's technically negative one plus 64 is a 63p. I still have negative 37. This 63 now is a positive, and then is equal to 26. Notice how this, because this 63 made a positive, I put a plus sign in front of it. Then I'm going to move this negative 37 over by adding 37 to both sides. Negative and positive 37 cancels out, so 63p is all that's left. And then over here, if we add it, 6 plus 7 is 13, 2 plus 3 plus 1 is also 6. And then 63 um, divided both sides, we're going to just get 1 for our example for number 3. Okay. Our last and final example, a little bit easier than number three, go ahead and pause this video, try this one completely on your own, and when you're ready to check it, click play. All right, first thing I'm going to do is distribute. Three times two is six, and three times x is three x. 
over on the left side, I still have 7x minus 22. I'm going to move all of my variables to the left side. So let's do that first. I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. 7x minus 3x is 4x minus 22 is equal to 6. Then I will add 22 to both sides. I'm losing my line here. Sorry about that. Minus 22 plus 22 cancels out, so I got 4x is equal to 6 plus 22, that's 28. And then finalizing my steps, I will divide both sides by 4. x is equal to 7 for my last example. That is going to conclude 2.4, day 2, solving variables on both sides, mainly combining like terms and distributing. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time.